Welcome to our uh, deep dive into the world of real estate crowdfunding. Yeah. It's like real estate investing got a turbocharged upgrade. Right. Lower barriers to entry. Absolutely. Exciting opportunities. And you don't need to be a millionaire to get started. Exactly. It's all about pooling resources. Yeah. So instead of needing a small fortune to buy a whole property, you can invest smaller amounts alongside other people. Yeah. I'm already picturing myself sipping lemonade on a beach somewhere, <laughs> all thanks to passive income from my real estate investments. Nice. But uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, right. let's break down what real estate crowdfunding actually is. Think of it as a gateway to real estate that was once reserved for the elite. Okay. We're talking single family homes, sprawling commercial properties. Oh, wow. Even farmland all within reach. And before we dive into the platforms, let's talk about Brian Garvin. Okay. That's Brian with an I. If you're interested in boosting your income, you have to visit BrianGarvin.com and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Sounds good. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Now back to real estate crowdfunding. And the beauty is it's not just about buying a piece of property. Yeah. It's about tapping into potential passive income streams through rental income or property appreciation. Right. And of course, you get that sweet portfolio diversification. Right. It's like adding a whole new dimension to your investment strategy beyond the usual stocks and bonds. Absolutely. But with so many platforms out there, it can feel like navigating a jungle. It's true. Each platform has its own personality yeah. and caters to a specific type of investor. Okay. That's why we're here to help you figure out which one is your perfect match. All right, let's meet our contenders. Fundrise often tops the list as a crowd favorite. It is very popular. It's like the, the friendly neighborhood platform for both newbies and seasoned investors. What makes them so special? Well, they take a long-term value investing approach. Okay. And their tiered account system means you can level up your investments as you gain experience. Gotcha. It's like starting with Real Estate 101 and graduating to a master class. I love that they have a low minimum investment, just $10. You can literally start investing with what you'd spend on a fancy coffee. Exactly. And their fees are super reasonable. Yeah. Fundrise is all about making real estate investing accessible without breaking the bank. Okay, so for someone who's dipping their toes into real estate crowdfunding, right. Fundrise sounds like a great place to start. It is. But what if you're ready to dive into the deep end, specifically the pool of single-family rentals? Then let's talk about Roofstock. Okay. They're the go-to platform for those who want to own rental properties without the landlord headaches. Okay. Think turnkey properties already leased, Generating income from day one. I'm picturing myself relaxing by the pool while the rent checks roll in. Nice. They cover a pretty impressive range of markets too, right? Over 70 U.S. markets. Wow. And they handle all the property management, tenant screening, rent collection, maintenance, the whole nine yards. So you're telling me I can be a hands-off landlord. Sign me up. Yeah. What if I'm still a little hesitant though? Roofstock has you covered with their 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay. It's like a test drive for your investment. You can dip your toes in the water and see if it feels right. Okay. Now let's switch gears and talk about Diversity Fund. Okay. They're all about REITs, real estate investment trusts. Right. Sounds a bit more complex. Think of REITs as a way to own a piece of a large real estate portfolio without having to manage individual properties. Okay. Diversity Fund is making REITs accessible to everyone, not just the Wall Street crowd. So it's like investing in a basket of properties instead of putting all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. They focus on value-add multifamily properties, which means they invest in properties they can improve to boost their value over time. Gotcha. And you can get started with just $500. That's a pretty tempting entry point. It is. But there's always a catch, right? Well, Diversity Fund is a long game. Okay. You're looking at a five-year wait for returns, but all your dividends get automatically reinvested, so your money keeps growing. Okay. It's all about delayed gratification, but the potential payoff could be significant. It's like planting a seed and patiently waiting for it to blossom into a beautiful, profitable tree. Now, let's step into the world of the more seasoned investors. Okay. Those who have a higher risk tolerance and a bit more capital to play with. You're talking about the big leagues? Yeah. Okay, tell me more. For these investors, CrowdStreet is the platform to watch. Okay. They specialize in commercial real estate, well. offering individual deals that give you more control over where your money goes. So it's less about passive investing and more about actively choosing your real estate ventures. 
Yes, and they have a super strict vetting process for sponsors and deals, so you know you're investing in quality opportunities. Right. Plus, their track record is impressive, attracting those seeking potentially higher returns. But commercial real estate comes with its own set of risks, right? Absolutely. Longer holding periods. Okay. Market fluctuations, it's not for the faint of heart, but for those who have done their homework and are comfortable with the risks, CrowdStreet can be a very rewarding platform. Okay, I'm getting serious Wolf of Wall Street vibes. Now, if you're looking for a more conservative approach, okay. even within the commercial real estate space, let's talk about Streetwise. Conservative? Tell me more. I'm always up for a balanced approach. Streetwise focuses on properties with established tenants and lower debt ratios. Oh, yeah. Think of them as the safe and steady players in the commercial real estate game. So it's less about chasing those sky-high returns and more about generating consistent, reliable income. Exactly. And they have a unique approach. They directly own and operate their properties. Oh, wow. They're not just investing, they're actively involved which appeals to some investors. So it's like being a part owner of the business, not just a passive investor. And they're open to both accredited and non-accredited investors with a $5,000 minimum. Okay. Plus you have quarterly redemption options after a one-year lockup, giving you some flexibility. Flexibility is always a good thing. Okay, I think it's time for another quick reminder from our friend Brian Garvin. Okay. Thinking about getting started in affiliate marketing, make sure you visit briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Just submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Now let's step back into the world of accredited investors. Okay, back to the high rollers. If you're an accredited investor looking for liquidity and institutional level commercial real estate, Cadre is the platform to know. It's like the VIP lounge of real estate crowdfunding. They use technology and their experience team to identify high potential investments. Okay. And their track record is pretty impressive so far. So they're all about cutting edge strategies and big returns. They also focus on opportunity zones, investments in economically distressed communities that offer some attractive tax advantages. Gotcha. But keep in mind, Cadre has a $50,000 minimum investment, so it's definitely geared towards high net worth individuals. Okay, that's a serious chunk of change. Now, if you're looking for a versatile platform that offers a little bit of everything, okay. Realty Mogul is a great option. Right. Think of them as the one-stop shop for real estate crowdfunding. Gotcha. They have REITs, private placements, and even a buyback program catering to both accredited and non-accredited investors. It sounds like they're trying to be the Amazon of real estate crowdfunding. Sure. And their due diligence process is Thorough. They make sure they're only offering high quality cash flowing properties. So they're all about quality over quantity. Exactly. They want to ensure investors have access to solid opportunities that align with their risk tolerance and investment goals. Okay, let's talk about arrived homes. Okay. They're making waves by offering fractional ownership of single family homes. It's truly revolutionary. You can invest with as little as $100, making real estate investing accessible to practically everyone. Wow. They even have backing from big names like Jeff Bezos. Wow, that's quite the endorsement. What makes them stand out? Their mission is to make real estate investing accessible to everyone. Okay. And they have a unique approach. They make tenants part owners, aligning everyone's incentives. It's like creating a community within a community, a win-win for both tenants and investors. Exactly. And finally, let's not forget about AcreTrader, the platform that's all about farmland investing. Farmland? That's a new one. AcreTrader is a great option for accredited investors who want to diversify their portfolio with a tangible asset that has historically been very stable. So it's like owning a piece of the heartland. You can earn passive income through lease payments from farmers or potentially sell the land for a profit later on. Okay. Farmland is a finite resource. Right. And with the growing global population, its value is expected to increase over time. So it's like investing in the future of food production. It's a unique and potentially very rewarding investment strategy. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground. It's amazing how many different ways there are to invest in real estate these days. And the beauty of it all is that there's a platform out there for almost every budget, risk tolerance, and investment style. But before we get swept away by all the possibilities, mm. it's important to pause and consider some key factors. Absolutely. Right. Let's start with the difference between accredited and non-accredited investors. It's a crucial distinction that can impact your platform options. 
Accredited investors with their higher income or net worth essentially unlock a whole new level of investment opportunities, yeah. including those considered more, shall we say, adventurous. So platforms like CrowdStreet and Cadre, with their high minimums and focus on potentially riskier ventures, are like exclusive clubs for the accredited investors. Precisely. But don't worry. There are plenty of platforms like Fundrise and Roofstock right. that welcome both accredited and non-accredited investors with open arms. It's like having different tiers of access to a real estate amusement park. Yeah. Everyone gets to enjoy the rides, but some get to skip the lines and access the VIP areas. Speaking of access, minimum investments are another crucial factor to consider. Right. It seemed quite a range from Fundrise's tempting $10 entry point to Cadre's hefty $50,000 minimum. It's like choosing your level of commitment. Are you dipping your toes in the pool? or diving headfirst into the deep end. Exactly. Now let's talk about liquidity, the ability to convert your investment back into cash. Okay. This is where things get really interesting in the world of real estate crowdfunding. Okay, break it down for me. Why is liquidity so important? Right. Especially compared to other investments like stocks, which you can buy and sell pretty easily. Imagine you're at a poker table with your chips all stacked up. Okay. With stocks, it's like you can cash in your chips and walk away whenever you want. Yeah. But with real estate crowdfunding, your chips might be locked in for a while, depending on the platform and the specific investment. So it's like the difference between playing a quick hand of poker and joining a high stakes tournament where you're committed for the long haul. Exactly. Some platforms offer redemption programs or secondary markets where you can sell your shares, but others have lockup periods that can last for years. Right. If you think you might need access to your funds in the short term, liquidity is a factor you can't afford to ignore. It's like choosing between a checking account and a long-term certificate of deposit. One gives you instant access. The other locks your money away for higher potential returns, but with limited flexibility. And of course, we can't forget about the ever-present fees. Right. Every platform has its own fee structure, which can significantly impact your overall returns. Fees, fees, fees. It's like they follow us everywhere. It's crucial to understand how those fees are calculated and what they cover. Okay. Some platforms charge management fees, yeah. while others take a percentage of your profits. So it's not just about comparing potential returns. Right. It's about factoring in those pesky fees and understanding how they'll nibble away at your profits. Exactly. It's like choosing between two restaurants. Yeah. One has delicious food but a hefty service charge, while the other has slightly less impressive dishes but no added fees. A perfect analogy. Now, this is where it gets even more crucial. Awesome. Beyond the glossy brochures and promises of high returns, we need to talk about due diligence. Due diligence, it sounds so serious, yeah. but I'm guessing it's pretty important in the world of real estate crowdfunding. It's absolutely essential. Never, ever rely solely on the information presented on a platform. Okay. Think of it like buying a used car. You don't just take the seller's word for it. Right. You kick the tires. Yeah. Check under the hood. Uh-huh. And maybe even get a mechanic to give it a once over. So when it comes to real estate crowdfunding, what does kicking the tires and checking under the hood actually look like? It's about doing your own research on the sponsors. Okay. Digging into the details of the properties and understanding the overall market conditions. Right. Don't be afraid to ask questions, yeah. seek out independent reviews, yeah. and really scrutinize those investment opportunities. It's like being a detective. You need to gather all the evidence before you make a decision. Exactly. Real estate crowdfunding can be an amazing way to build wealth and diversify your portfolio, Yeah. but it's not a magic bullet. Right. You need to be informed, you need to be proactive, yeah. and you need to understand the risks involved. So it's not just about chasing those shiny returns. It's about making smart, calculated decisions based mm -hmm. on solid research and a clear understanding of your own financial goals and risk tolerance. Exactly. Now, before we dive into the next exciting phase of our real estate crowdfunding adventure, okay. let me ask you, Yeah. what's resonated with you the most so far from all the platforms we've explored? What's piqued your interest? Well, I'm definitely drawn to platforms like Fundrise and Arrived Homes, yeah, which are breaking down barriers and making real estate investing accessible to everyone. Right. It's inspiring to see that you don't need to be a millionaire to participate in this exciting world. I agree. It's democratizing real estate investing in a way we've never seen before. Right. And I'm fascinated by platforms like AcreTrader, which are showcasing 
alternative asset classes like farmland. Yeah. It's like they're expanding the definition of what real estate investing can be. It's like they're saying, hey, there's a whole world of opportunities out there beyond those shiny skyscrapers and suburban homes. Right. But it's important to remember that this landscape is constantly evolving, right? Absolutely. If we connect this to the bigger picture, yeah. we can see how technology is transforming the way we invest in real estate, right. making it more efficient, more transparent, and dare I say, more exciting. Okay, before we get too uh, carried away with the excitement, we need to address the elephant in the room. Yeah. The dreaded R word. Risk. Exactly. We've talked about all these amazing platforms and potential returns. Right. But we need to acknowledge that real estate crowdfunding, like any investment, comes with its own set of risks. It's true. And understanding those risks is just as important as understanding the potential rewards. Yeah. It's like embarking on a thrilling adventure. Okay. You need to be aware of the potential dangers as well as the breathtaking views. So let's take off our rose-colored glasses for a moment and talk about the potential pitfalls. Right. What are some of the risks investors should be aware of in the world of real estate crowdfunding? Well, first and foremost, there's the risk of losing money. Okay. Real estate values can fluctuate, yeah. markets can change, right? and projects can fail. Yeah. It's important to remember that past performance is not indicative of future results. So just because a platform has a stellar track record doesn't guarantee future success. Right. It's like investing in a sports team. They might have won the championship last year, but that doesn't mean they'll win it again this year. Exactly. And then there's the issue of liquidity, which right. we touched upon earlier. Yeah. Real estate is not as liquid as stocks or bonds. Right. So if you need to access your funds quickly, you might be out of luck. It's like being stuck in traffic on a one-way street. Yeah. You can't just make a U-turn and go back. And then there are platform-specific risks. Yeah. Some platforms might have weaker due diligence processes. Right. Which means they might be offering riskier investments. So it's like choosing a tour guide for a jungle expedition. You want someone who knows the terrain, has a good safety record, and won't lead you astray. Exactly. And it's important to remember that real estate crowdfunding is still a relatively new industry. Yeah. So there's always the risk of regulatory changes or unexpected events that could impact your investments. It's like navigating uncharted waters. There's always the possibility of encountering a storm or hitting an iceberg. Right. But I guess that's all part of the adventure, it, right? It is. But it's an adventure that should be approached with caution, careful planning, and a healthy dose of skepticism. So before we wrap up this part of our deep dive, what's yeah. the key takeaway for our listeners when it comes to managing risk in real estate crowdfunding? The key takeaway is this. Don't let the fear of risk paralyze you. Okay. But don't be reckless either. Right. Do your research. Yeah. Understand the potential pitfalls. Okay. And choose investments that align with your risk tolerance and financial goals. It's like walking a tightrope. Yeah. You need to find that perfect balance between caution and courage. Exactly. Now, are you ready for the final leg of our real estate crowdfunding journey? I'm ready. We've explored the platforms, we've talked about the risks, right. and now it's time to empower you to take action. What's next on our agenda? Mm. So we've explored this whole world of real estate crowdfunding platforms. Huh? Right. From the ones that are perfect for beginners to the ones for people who are more experienced. Yeah. So for our listeners, what's next? Where do we go from here? Now it's time to take action. Go back and look at the platforms that you're interested in wow. and really look at their websites. Yeah. Check out their educational resources. Uh -huh. A lot of them will have blog posts, FAQs, okay. maybe even webinars. Oh, wow. And don't be shy. Yeah. Reach out to their customer support and ask any questions that you have. So it's kind of like window shopping for investments. You browse around, <laughs> yeah. compare, right, yeah. and find what works best for you and your financial goals. Exactly. And you don't have to go all in right away. Okay. Many platforms let you start small. Yeah. It's like putting your toe in the water before you jump in the pool. So you're saying it's okay to be cautious at first and test things out? Yes, absolutely. Real estate crowdfunding is more like a marathon than a sprint. Okay. Take your time, do your research, and choose investments that match your risk tolerance and long-term goals. And speaking of journeys, let's not forget about our friend Brian Garvin. Right. That's Brian with an I. Okay. If you are ready to level up your income, yeah. go to briangarvin.com and get his free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. 
It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Just submit your name and email and click the verification link that they send to your email address. Sounds good. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Now, to wrap up our exploration of real estate crowdfunding, okay. I want to leave you with something to think about. Okay. As technology keeps changing and the real estate landscape changes too, Yeah. what new trends do you think will shape the future of real estate crowdfunding? Ooh, that's a good question. I wonder if we'll see more blockchain technology or even things like owning pieces of famous landmarks through NFTs. That's possible. Or will AI be used more to pick properties and manage them right. so there's less guesswork involved? What about virtual reality and augmented reality? Oh, yeah. Will we be checking out properties from our living rooms Wait. and making investment decisions based on these immersive digital experiences? The possibilities are incredible. It's like we're at the start of something brand new yeah. and we're waiting to see what happens. It is. The future of real estate crowdfunding is full of potential and it's going to be fascinating to see how it all develops. So on that note, we've reached the end of our deep dive. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the world of real estate crowdfunding and feel ready to explore this exciting investment landscape. Remember, knowledge is power, and with the right information and a thoughtful approach, real estate crowdfunding can be a powerful tool for building wealth and achieving your financial goals. So keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, yeah, happy investing.